Hi there. Now for this question then, we had to work out the area of the scraper and give it three significant figures. And as you can see, it turns out to be 96.7 centimeters squares to three significant figures. And to do this, all we do is work out the areas of each of these two sectors. They're going to be the same. And the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is very easy because all we need to do is pick up on the fact that it's what we call half AB sine C, that formula there, where it's really half the product of the two sides that surround the angle. And then we take the sine of the angle. So you've got half times 8 times 8 times the sine of the angle. Because you're working out a trigonometric function here on an angle that's in radians, you need to make sure you're in radians mode on your calculator. So do check that out. You should find you get 25.177 and so on centimeter squares. I haven't rounded this up. I'm only going to round up my calculations at the end. As for the area of a sector, we need to work out this angle here. It's going to be the same as this angle here. I did it in the previous part of the question. All we need to do is take half a turn, pi radians, take away this angle that we worked out in part A and divide by 2. And that gives us 1.1179 and so on radians. So when it comes to working out the area of a sector, all we need to do is say it's a fraction of the area of a complete circle. That fraction is the angle. 1.1179 radians compared with a full turn of a circle, which in radians is 2 pi. So it's this fraction of the area of a circle, pi r squared. So you can see it's going to be pi times the radius squared of 8. Okay, And the pi's cancel, and it gives me this answer here. 35.772 and so on centimeter squares. So I just grouped these sections together to give us the final area. Two sectors plus the area of the triangle. And when rounded, as you can see, it comes to 96.7 centimeter squares then to three significant figures. Don't forget, if you're unsure of using this method to find out the area of a sector, I've got tutorials on my website for this. All right.